Yeah, that is. Oh, not that hand, this one. Well, put this hand in your pocket. <laughs> Get your hand out of it. Oh. Oh, oh sometimes it's... Oh. I just found out that map is worth more than $2,500, that woman. I can't get over it. All I did was go like this, no water came out. Are you listening? Come on. Come on! You go in the living room and wait. I'm going to snoop around here and find out more about this deal. Go ahead. Who was at the door, Harry? Uh, Mr. Livington and Mr. Johnson. Good. Where are they? They're in the living room. I'll see them in a minute, and we'll have coffee in the library. Harry, I'm phoning Gunner to come over. Please leave the door open. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. I didn't order anybody in the room. I'm awfully sorry. Say, hold it. Wait what you want. You know, you standing in front of this here picture reminds me of my last expedition in Africa. And that's so. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. And it was my most dangerous expedition. We were after cats. Big cats. You know what cats are? Lions, I imagine. Oh, there's no imagine about it, my friend. Lions are lions. Here or any place, they're lions. You can't imagine they're lions. Oh, no, indeedy. I want to tell you something. My first afternoon out, I bagged 64 lions. Gad, what a hunt. Really? Oh, yes. And then I ran into an old friend of mine, Clyde Beatty. No. Yeah. And was he hurt? He didn't bag a lion for two weeks. Really? <laughs> I bagged them all. He couldn't hit one of them. <laughs> of course, when it comes to handling lions, he don't know from nothing. I am the boy right over here. <laughs> I want to tell you something else, too, between you and I. Clyde Beatty is a phony. On the side, a pretty nice fella, but between you and I, a phony. <laughs> something else I want to tell you, friend. Who do you think tames the lines that he has inside the cages? Me, Stanley Livington, the world's greatest hunter. No kidding. Yes, sir. Well, one of the greatest. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Uh, Clyde Beatty. Clyde Beatty. Clyde, it's nice knowing you. I want you to stick around because I'm going to tell you how I used to go in myself and tame those lions. Now, when it comes to taming the animals, Clyde... Clyde! Clyde! Oh, good evening. I, I see you've met Mr. Livington, our big uh, wild game hunter, eh? Yes, indeed. Swell. He just didn't tell me about some of his exploits. Oh, swell, swell, that's fine. Uh, tell him about the time you and Clyde Beatty went tiger hunting in India. That's yes, the... I'd like to hear about it. Yeah, yes, indeed. Why, he, uh, Stanley tells me that he outshot Beatty five to one. Uh, by the way, I don't think you've introduced me to this gentleman. Uh, Clyde Beatty. Clyde, Be uh, Clyde, 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 Clyde Beatty. Uh, I'll be seeing you around. Uh, Mr. Beatty, I'm sorry for what I said about Mr. Beatty. Excuse me. Why, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington, please forgive me for keeping you waiting. You've met Mr. Beatty? It seems Mr. Livington and I are old hunting pals. Won't you gentlemen have some coffee? And after coffee, we'll have Mr. Livington draw the map. Well, I'm terribly sorry. Mr. Livington will not be able to draw the map. But he's got to. The whole success of my trip depends on it. You mean you intend to take a trip to Africa? Very definitely. I'm planning a safari. I wonder if I may be excused. I know you folks would rather talk business in private. If you don't mind, I think it would be better. Mr. Beatty's hat, Harry. Excuse me, gentlemen. Good night, old friend. Quick, grapple and boots are outside waiting to slug Johnson and Livington. Tell them the plans are changed and to lay off. Yes, ma'am. Look, Buzz, let me draw the map. We'll get the $2,500 and get out of here. Uh, certainly not. Now, if I play your cards right, we'll get more than $2,500. Uh, listen, you, you heard her. She's organizing a safari. I wish I was there. Uh, where? On a Hoboken safari right, right now. Uh, 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 Stanley, you're, um, you're absolutely right. Uh, as you surmised, to be frank with you, I don't blame you for having the desire. Desire to what? Uh, of course, I'll, I'll have to explain everything explain to the lady. Explain it to me. Uh, uh, Mr. Livington insists on uh, journeying a safari to Africa. I insist? Yeah, there you are. You heard oh, it from his own lips. Oh, oh, just, uh, hello. Just uh, a minute. How do you do? Uh, I mean, you see, with Mr. Livington in Africa, 
Uh, he'd feel right at home, and it'd be very simple for him to draw the map without any difficulties. I think it's an excellent idea. Silly. Once we're there, he can lead us to the East Fork of the Tarabongo and Okavangi River. Lead yeah. you to the fork? Yes, yeah, uh, Shelley, of course, it'll be the regular $5,000 fee in advance, and uh, $15,000 on completion. Of course, that includes my services. What? Splendid. That's fine. And for your safety, I'm going to assign you my best follow-upper. Uh, follow-upper? Follow Yes, he's the man who follows you in the jungle, and if you miss a shot at a charging animal, he shoots and saves your life. Oh, that's him now. Excuse me. Miss Shelley. Hey, listen, Buzz. I'm oh. not going to go over to you. you got no right to put me in a thing like that. Oh, what kind of money? You're always putting me don't right in the middle of me. Where I don't care what kind of money. Don't you give me that lie. Listen, you got to put me over there with no arguments. I'm not going to go over there with all those lies. I tell you. I'm going to start going the other way. I'm not going to go over there with no arguments. Oh, no, no. I won't. Gunner, I'd like to have you meet Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington. Gunner Jensen. Hi. Uh, I don't want to seem inquisitive, but uh, just what are we going to Africa for? Well, we're going after an orangutan gargantua. Orangutan gargantua? Excuse me, please. Uh, pardon. Let me ask you. What's an orangutan gargantua? Uh, it's a big ape. Oh, a big ape. Yeah, stop worrying. <coughs> Nick, pardon. Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me. A big ape? Yeah. You mean like the thing I see in a circus, like the father to the monkey? Yeah, it's only bigger. Bigger. And he's going to protect me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gunner, show them how you can shoot the Winchester. You missed the lion. I raised the gun to my shoulder, looked through the peep sight, mate. I looked through the peep sight, put my finger on the trigger, Grab for the pump slide, and I, I... <laughs> no pump slide. Stanley. Stanley. Now where did he go? Stanley! Thank you. 